hanging scale. So I got this because I wanted to be able to weigh some of my strongman implements such as some sandbags to see how well they're loaded as well as the atlas stones and I guess that I didn't want a platform scale because with a platform scale you have to be able to set it down make sure that the weight is completely on it. With this I can just hang this from the power rack and then I can use the pulley. That's my theory is I'm going to try to use the pulley to actually pull up on the implement and see if I can't get a weight. So let's see what's in the box. And the actual box looks like this. Comes in two different colors. I chose blue because it matches my power rack. And this is what it looks like. So it comes with a hanging hook, a shackle, and some rubber pieces. Comes with the scale itself. It's actually pretty lightweight. I kind of thought this would be heavier. Probably weighs just a couple ounces. Comes with a cotter pin, some batteries, and of course, the manual. The manual. So you can see here with it powered on, you have kilograms, newtons, or newtonians, or you tell me if I'm getting this wrong, in pounds. So I'm gonna go and I attach it up to the eye bolt that I have mounted, and of course my daughter is gonna get in there and play with it while I'm trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to rig up this lifting apparatus. So I needed to test it first and I guess I could have just put weight plates on it which I eventually ended up doing but my daughter likes it when I pull her up and down on a weight loading pin and so I was just kind of getting that set up because I figured I'd use my three-year-old as a just like a little bit of a test to see if this idea would work. So just go ahead and get it all set up and my one year old Chloe is just sitting there mesmerized by everything that's going on. She was definitely into it. See that? See that? I want you to hang on right here. Ready? Okay. 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 I just tested it with Miss Emma and I, you're able to press hold when you're at the max load and kind of what we had going is uh, so I, I put it up, I teared it with Emma not on it and after that then I picked Emma up and then hit the hold button and it saved her weight and it's right at 35 pounds I weighed her on our bathroom scale which is pretty accurate right before that and she was at 34.8 so 0.2 pounds difference I mean that could be she drank a water bottle or something, but so far so good. Now I gotta go find some implements. So like I said, the weight was just a little bit off and it kind of bothered me. I ended up loading a couple 45 pound plates and I knew exactly how much those weigh because I've weighed them before on an accurate scale because I was curious, which by the way, the Rogue Machine plates are very accurate in weight. Uh, so I ended up grabbing my first Atlas stone and I figured I would start with one that I had put on a flat scale before. So this is my 200, I thought it was a 235 pound stone and I rigged it up with the two straps that I'm using to attach it to the pulley, which this ended up being the toughest part of rigging up any of the stones was getting it so that the stone actually didn't fall out of the straps as I lifted it up. So you can see me here just making sure that the straps are good. And then after that, I went ahead and figured out how to get the chains all the way out to the 
strap. Stay back here. All right, so here's the setup. Starts at the trailer hitch. Comes down to the pulley. And as we can see, this one with the straps that are going around the stone is 235 point. Point three pounds. So what's left to do now is just see how much these straps weigh because these are the only additional weight that aren't accounted for on the scale. So I'll turn on the scale and tear it out. And it comes out to 1.5 pounds. So this is one and a half pounds worth of straps. So what I do is just take that 235.3, subtract one and a half, and I end up with 233.8. So how about that fast math in public? Right, I'm gonna roll it in there. You wanna help me? So this was my first unknown stone. This is a 18 inch Atlas stone mold with a 25 pound weight suspended in the middle of it. And this is the first one that was just very off. I just assumed it would add 25 pounds to the actual number, but it ended up being just over 240 pounds. So get up to the scale, uh, read the number. I was kind of confused and this is how I was letting it out is I would just, I was barely cranking it up so it was just barely off the ground. And I would just release it and it would just thump down that one inch uh, needed to get it back to the floor. And then at that point I would just pull the scale off which ended up being, I got better at this as the day went on but at first it was a little bit of a learning experience as is with anything. If I was to give you a recommendation if you're doing this it would be to let out more strap than you think you need to let out because it's really easy to take up that extra strap when you go to weigh the next stone. So then I ended up grabbing a sharpie and I used a sharpie just to indicate the weight of the stones as I weighed them because I know me better and if I try to remember I will forget. So then I would roll them out and I had all of the stones that were weighed in one area and all the stones I was weighing in another. So like everything, there seems to be a limiting factor. And when you're weighing giant Atlas stones using a nylon braided cable, this is your limiting factor. As you can see, it's actually pulling the nylon off. You can see, you can see the extra bit of nylon there. So what I plan on doing this time is I guess just tightening it down some more. I'm, I'm wondering if I go straight to the steel if it'll still hold. Going straight to the steel it did definitely hold really well and this is the result. These are the heavier stones that I weighed and the lighter ones I ended up not weighing. So the only stones I actually did today were the larger stones that I can't do on a bathroom scale. The rest of them I'm just gonna do on a bathroom scale because it's easier to set up. But the scale works amazing. So if you're looking for a garage scale so you can weigh strongman implements, the modern step hanging scale works like a champ. Uh, it's decently accurate. I threw a bunch of my accurate 45 pound plates on it and it was exactly what it was supposed to be. Highly recommend it and you can get it on Amazon shipped for like 40 bucks, which is way better than any platform scale that you're gonna find. But that's my video. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit the bell so you get a notification every time that I release a new video. You can also click up here to subscribe to my channel. 
or click over here or here for a selection of videos that you also might be interested in. I appreciate you guys watching this one and I'll see you next time.